This is Schrader Road in Chillicothe, Ohio. This tunnel is locally known as Crybaby Tunnel. Legend has it that as this road was once a train track, a mother, upset that her baby would not stop crying one summer evening, made her way out to the tracks and placed her baby on it. The immobile baby was no match for the oncoming train. Rather gory for an urban legend if you ask me. Urban legends tend to leave the violence ambiguous or merciful at worst. There are some other stories about a woman's suicide and that perhaps this woman in question was the mother killing herself, racked with guilt. In these stories, the woman couldn't stop hearing the baby crying, even after death. I consider these stories apocryphal. They seem to just be a tired retelling of a certain Poe work. Locals say to this day that if you drive slowly through the tunnel on a warm summer night, you can still hear the crying of the baby in question. My mother loved spooking my brother and I with this story. Back when we didn't have much money for entertainment, and back when gas was relatively cheap, we'd drive around Chillicothe at night and visit various locales. One such locale was Crybaby Tunnel. She'd always slow down to a crawl as we entered the tunnel, maybe four miles an hour, maybe less. And if that didn't spook us, which it usually did, she'd threaten to roll down the windows. One time she actually did, and a car came from the oncoming side of the road and scared the living daylights out of us. Those thirty-some seconds of scares in one day was as much as our little hearts could handle. But on the other hand, it wasn't enough to satisfy one's curiosity. We never actually heard or saw anything supernatural. It was like that creepy factor didn't sate our minds want for something terrible to happen. We both wanted something more out of the adventure, even if it meant danger. We felt like we didn't know the full story. After all, we never saw what was going on in the adjacent tunnel with the creek running through it. My brother is six years older than me. And when I was twelve, past the age of finding such things as spirits and ghosts reasonable, my brother undertook a rite of passage, that is, tagging Crybaby Tunnel at night. According to him, he was successful in writing Kate Can't Swim, an inside joke, on the wall of Crybaby Tunnel. But he said that when I was old enough to tag there, that I should pass the opportunity. I thought he was being dramatic, and... Twelve whole years later, I happened to be in Chillicothe, so I thought I'd catch some footage of this terrible tunnel. I didn't notice anything strange at the time, but it was daytime. I wasn't giving the legend a fair shot. Then I went to show my brother the video for laughs. He pointed out something I missed on my first viewing in the adjacent tunnel.